week, the West Virginia Department of Transportation Secretary Jimmy Wriston was pulled over for alleged driving erratically on I-77. Police say he was allowed to be picked up by someone else and was not charged or cited for any criminal or traffic violations. Well, this afternoon, Charleston police released the results of an investigation looking into the officer's handling of the traffic stop and whether that was conducted properly. CPD says during a breathalyzer test, they smelled alcohol, but were not able to find probable cause to arrest Riston because he passed two field sobriety tests. Well, we asked Charleston Police Chief Scott Dempsey if Riston blew over the legal limit. He would only say those findings cannot be released right now because of the investigation. Before CPD released that information, Governor Justice had this to say. Now, Jim Justice feels he's very concerned. And, uh, and how Jim Justice feels, probably disappointed. You've got to know, and you've got to know me, that if there's something wrong, you know, you know I, 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 I give people the benefit of the doubt and absolutely want to make sure that we are on solid ground before we start accusing people or saying this or that and everything else. But once we get there, you know, um, my feelings are really simple. I, I just, uh, I, I'll address it. And, uh, and, and right now there's, uh, there's enough stuff here that doesn't look very good, you know, and, and so, but, we'll, but let's just wait. Let's just wait. So once again, that was before the Charleston police released that information. So then we went and asked the governor's office for comment. Now the CPD did release a little more info and they said they will get back to us once they have gone over that new information. As for the initial call for erratic driving, the prosecutor's office is looking into a criminal investigation whether the information reported to 911 that night was accurate and truthful.